select board meeting to order on um, Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. It is currently 6.04, and we'll just go ahead and get right to amendments to the agenda, which I don't see any. And I didn't get any notice of one, so therefore, um, add my the executive yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, and the budget approval is on here i could have sworn it was on here but well it, it it's number eight it's oh i see it's number eight so it's kind of a little vague but yeah. all right so i'm gonna make a motion just to go into executive session amendment correspondence all right uh is this in review for correspondence hold on dlct Okay. All right. So now, um, make let's uh, just start here. One second. We're going to do an amendment to add an executive session to number ten in the schedule. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to add the executive session I'll as number ten. Second that motion to the agenda. Thank you, Richard. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Personal. All right. So now we have an amendment, possibly correspondence. This is a passive um, email to the passive at budget appropriations. This other one says. <clears throat> Department of Taxes. Okay, so what this is is um this is a loss report. Okay. Right on. All right, so this is a loss report for the claims that have been made against uh, the municipality. Um, through our passive, for example, if someone were to get a flat tire driving on the town road, they make a claim, we, su we um, submit it to passive, and then they go ahead and they make the judgment on it. So what it is, is a list of the people who have made those claims, which is why it wants, me, wants us to be selective about who sees it. So in other words, I'm not sure it's public information. Um, and then there's a claim cost detail sheet, which just explains who, what, when, where, and why, and possibly how much. Um, I think <clears throat> from what I can see, it looks like there's a zero balance on it. But again, I haven't seen it yet. So maybe we could just have this emailed to the board. So everyone, the board should be privy to it, I would think. Sure. Okay, so I think not necessarily a motion, but most likely an action item here. If there's anyone else who has discussion, I'd like to make an action item just for Deb to email the board uh, this passive um, claim report, as they are calling it, claims cost detail. All right, great. That'll go over here. Next, we have... Um, Hardwick Emergency Rescue Squad, this squad, excuse me, this goes under appropriations, so this is going to be, this would be warned, um, and then says that they're seeking double. Uh, what is highlighted on this, it says, this year our appropriations has doubled due to a clear need to bring on more paid staff. We have numerous numbers who volunteer 200 to 300 hours a month, and this is not a sustainable model for consistent coverage, nor is it re reasonable expectation for an unpaid volunteer. Since budget. Right. So, yeah, this would have to go into the budget discussion. This is not a small number. So, I'll. Where would that get added to the budget? Can I see it real quick? It's inappropriate. So, where's your time report? Yeah. 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 Is this going to mess with our budget numbers? Yeah. It is. <laughs> They want an extra fifty thousand bucks. It looks like they want an extra er, fifty grand. Oh. We'll get. Oh no! Excuse me. Six. Six to seven. It's going from six six five two, thirteen four zero three. It's a raise of thirteen percent. 
Uh, oh, it's 13% of their budget. That's a raise of way more than 13%. Yeah, that's over 100%. So the question is, here it is, Hardwick Emergency Rescue SWAT, so in appropriations, right? Appropriate. It would be right here, so 6653 last year. 13403 this year. And it would go on with all the other ones who we've submitted over. Okay, good. It doesn't go in our budget then. I could have sworn. Well, it gets voted on. It's not part of the select board budget. It gets voted on the town budget by the voters. Yeah, as that's another one giant article. It's another six thousand right, dollars so for our it's, budget. It's not in the select board as a lot. You know, it's. Yeah. And I guess tonight we have to make sure that we do have numbers from all these people. If not, we're going to need them or so not include them. We have to add this number to that spreadsheet over there under the appropriations the, section. The difference, or if we haven't had it as line item at all. Well, we have happened. that in there now. Right, so it would be the difference between that number and that number, because that number is already going to be budgeted, or that number is probably... We just have to add that number in there. Yeah, change. The difference. Right. Yeah. difference. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Six and one have to... Right. That's... um. Okay. Well, so we're we'll going to have to add that. So I'll make a motion to table that to number eight. I'll second. second. Go ahead. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're going to have to go over all those other ones to make sure that they're accounted for. Oh, all right. Corrected equalization study results. So this is what um, we just add, asked the uh, town listeners to email to us. Um, Jill Remick, yeah. What was it before? 95? Those numbers, the COD and CLA didn't change. It's just the, that top number. The grand list number of the 150, 152 million. All right. All right. Um, great. Well, I guess just go ahead and if you wouldn't mind scanning and emailing this to the board as well. Uh, Deb, thank you very much. Any other amendments to the agenda? No, no, no. All right. Moving on to the minutes. We have first the minutes of the 8th. That's been tabled, so we can look at that. Okay. Keep it in this. Yep, no, it's, I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the minutes from January 8th. Okay, so if no one has any comments or questions, I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve the minutes from the January 8th select board meeting. All those in favor? <laughs> or excuse me, no one, right. no one seconded it. Second Richard, thank you very much for Richard uh, seconding it. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Moving on, now we have the minutes from the 15th. A lot of meetings, a lot of minutes, a lot of meetings. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. This was the Brook Road one, right? right. Well, we yeah. Were concerned about the Brook Well, it's Road. also the December 11th, December 18th, which is which is under unfinished, where we weren't sure about the Brook Road. Yeah, right. So um, it was, in fact, Fort Brook Road. Hill. That was the yeah. concern. That's why that's on number seven. This is separate. This is um, our last meeting. I think you really need to make sure that that is correct to your... As to your presentation, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, that looks good. I make a motion to accept the minutes as written for January 15th. I'll second the motion. All right, so the motion was made by Mike, or, yep, and seconded by Richard. All those in favor say aye. 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 Perfect. All right. Moving right along is comments from the community. Number five, community, thanks for coming. Would anyone like to offer their comment? Like the use of the 
with the technology. Hope we see more of it. We're trying. We, uh, it was something we originally discussed a year or two ago for town meeting day because we thought it would be a good asset for people, um, both the town and the school, but it's not something that came together. I think it's Sally Gardner's. Right. Uh, yeah, but uh, she's <coughs> keeping it here at the town office for so we can use it when we want. So we'll take it. Yeah. Technology's there. <coughs> Thank you, Monica. Yes, Mr. Cotton. You know, I've got thinking at the last meeting, I told you how much I appreciated what you've done and the effort you put forth in developing the budget to the point you have right now. And I just want to reiterate that to you all um, because I, I, uh, I look at this and I'm not sure you need me anymore. Well, let's not go that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a point. laughs> um, you know, it, it's, You've come a really. I, I'm, like I said, I'm proud of you. You've come a long way in, in terms of the homework you've done individually and collectively, and what you've done. And I also want to say, um, I hope a young roots crew is doing well. I, I appreciate what they're doing. I hope the town appreciates what they're doing. I hope the town understands that this is their first. Um, uh, rodeo in terms of winter. Um, there's going to be a learning curve. I hope the members of the road crew don't get discouraged if they hear some complaints um, because people are prone to complain more than they are to chip in and help. Um, I, I worked for 32 years for John Q. Public. Um, I think I can count on one hand the number of times somebody told me I did a good job. Um, you know, the rest of the time they were very... I used to say you could line 10 people up and nine of them would tell you what was wrong and the rear person would tell you what to do about it. Um, so I, I just want to tell you, I, I, I'm not up early in the morning. Um, but I've been impressed with what I've seen. I, I, I hearken back to August when we weren't sure what the hell was going to happen this winter. And I've said before, and I'll say many times again, I appreciate the designs, what Lucian's done in pulling all this together. Um, and I appreciate what you've done in terms of allowing that to happen and facilitating it and what you're doing. And, I hope that more people in this town will give you uh, some compliments because I know they're few and far between any time you work for the public, um, but you deserve them. And for one person, and Ginger feels the same way, I want to tell you thank you. And I want to send through Lucian air appreciation to this young crew. Um, and we hope they get to be an old crew for a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks, Bill. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I could speak to myself, although I've dealt with a few complaints. Of, obviously, we're going to have them. Um, I've also received a load of compliments. The roads are wider, looking good. So, I, mean, I can't fathom. I can't fathom. I mean, I'm a flatbed, right? I can't fathom getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning and getting a top truck and going out here. I mean, I know what the hell it was like leaving a meeting here one night and want to be still in the, in, in, in the snow squalls. I mean, I, I just can't fan it. Um, and, and people that want to complain about this or the work you do for 500 bucks a year, um, I don't want to hear it. I mean, my attitude is if you want to complain, okay, but get the right to complain. Do something, too. Right? I mean, Give some of your time, too, uh, like Kurt does, like Deb does, even though she gets paid for it. Use a hell of a lot beyond that pay. You give a hell of a lot beyond that pay. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm, I'll shut up. I just well, thank, yeah, thank you, Bill. We, we do appreciate it, and I hope that we can only tell the highway crew so many times that we enjoy what they're doing. Yeah. We have all our confidence in the world. I mean, we've we've done that before. So to hear it from a taxpayer, someone who's on the roads, well, it, 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 good. They as they should. 
I really hope so. People in this town, for me anyway, that give up their time and their effort are going to hear from it, hear about it, because I, there's too few people that do that, even for money, and um, this town's fortunate that it has the people it has working for it. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, Bill. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm sure the road crew would invite anybody at 2 o'clock in the morning to Right along. To join. <laughs> we'll we'll get a release before. No, just, uh, yeah, I mean it's a it's it's a job. It's the pitch of night. It's in the wind. It's in the storm. It's uh, the, the 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 drifts on Town Hill. I mean it's covered by the time you come back down. <laughs> so know that. Um, any other comments for the community at this point? Burner, Mr. Harris. All right, well, thank you. We're just gonna keep on moving on. We have number six is new business, and that is the loan agreement for the flood damage. So this is our union bank loan that we agreed to at a previous meeting. So this is something that we're really just looking to execute here. Okay, so the treasurer and the clerk, and then the select board. Clerk, select board, and then treasurer, select board, treasurer. Okay. What was the rate? The lowest of the bids we got is 2.15% fixed. The other one was in the 2 3. Nice. If I remember right. And we only had one other bid. Nice. Does this have to do with discussion on? This is the next one redesignated to two assigned some fund balances. Yeah, it sounds. I just needed to find them in the what audit. What are here. they? Yeah, we didn't know what they were. Yeah. All right, so. Just need a motion for that. Yes, we're just looking for a motion to execute the document that we've already agreed. We've already so, agreed to the loan. We're going to execute. Yeah. I'll make a motion to execute the document for Union Bank for the two hundred fifty thousand dollar loan for five years at two point one five percent fixed. I'll second that motion. <clears throat> Is by Richard. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Perfect. Let's pay for the deal. Did you get the W? Mm-hmm. 2%, it's a flat. It's the same payment every year, so we can budget it. Yeah, All right. it's a good rate. We know what the cost is every year, so it's going to be fixed into the highway budget. All right, we'll send that down. Schedule C. See, yep, wrong way. Oh, great. No, you can. There, too. There, too. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. Sorry. Okay, so this is just. Yep, uh, Community National is the other one at 2.35%. Um, this is just copies of other correspondence that's left in this folder. So once we get that signed, we'll be able to. Okay, perfect. So next we have uh, redesignate two fund balances. So Mike, do you know what those fund balances yeah, are? Yeah, they're right here. Um, it's that one and that one. That's the thousand dollars we got for uh, signing the solar agreement. And that 2807 is a computer equipment server that um, uh, Linda has moved into a different budget. So both of those can be assigned to the town administrator fund. The ones with asterisks. Mm -hmm. What are those? Things? So the solar was a $1,000. Yeah. Basically a deposit we got back because we didn't get the gift. Right. And then the computer fund is. They can go anywhere, though, so, right? We could go uh, any. Yeah. yeah. We, no, I'm just. <clears throat> Saying yeah, they could. Those are round numbers. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, so um, we ready for a motion? Sounds like you ready are ready for one. So um, take one. Yeah. <laughs> so I make a motion to move the a thousand dollars from our assigned fund for the solar. And 2807 for the computer equipment server to the town administrator uh, fund. 
So that's moving 3807 to the town administrator fund. Yep, and this is moving money that's already been approved by the taxpayers in last year's budget. And this is money that at this point has to be reassigned because it's not being used. That's all it is, is a reassignment. Well, yep. But last year there was no town administrator fund. So you can't move it to a fund that didn't exist within that year? Yeah, so, so I yeah. talked to I'm Linda sure. about that. Yeah. I talked to Linda about that, and we had made the decision to put this in the town administrator okay. position no, prior. Or the capital okay. would have been a place that it could have been. Right. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Nope, okay. Right I'll second the motion. Right. Um, so motion made by Michael, seconded by Richard to redesignate a total of $3,807 which would ultimately end up in the town administrator position line item. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Were the old, old minutes in here by any chance? I haven't seen them. Okay. All right, so I'm not sure exactly how to go about approving the minutes from December 11th or 18th. I don't know if I have a copy of them. I have a suggestion to add to the December 11th minutes. Okay, hold on. Um, I'll just empty mine. I know. November 6th. December 18th? December 11th, Deb. All right, December 11th. And the 18th. Yep, I have them both. So. And that was due to the question whether it was for or not for us? Right. So, Mike, I, yeah. I remember correctly, you were the one who brought up the concern. Uh, well, uh, the email had wait. the subject of a different road. Right. Uh, so that's that was, the 18th. That's the 18th? Okay, so if we're on the 11th, Deb, you have... 11th, okay. the issue was under presentation by the auditor. Okay. The terminology that the auditor had used. Right, and yep. So on further checking, I would suggest that there be added as a, a third sentence in that paragraph, the words, this was noted as a significant deficiency yes that That's was the that was the exact yep yep okay uh so that being said that definitely rings bells in my brain uh does anyone have me i mean yeah so if there's no Quite conversation right. i'll go ahead and just make a motion to um I'll make a motion to accept the amended, or no, we haven't accepted them yet. So we'll just go ahead and accept the minutes from December 11th as amended. I'll second that. All right, by Richard. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. aye perfect. And then, so now we have the 18th. So oh. the 18th, <laughs> was, um, the question was, uh, the second paragraph under additional budget proposals. And reference was made to Brook Road, and that was what I was to check on. And it was it was correct, Brooke right? Yeah. So yeah. So you can accept them as written. Yes. So that's a motion. Oh yes. Yeah, sorry. I'll make a motion to accept the December eighteenth minutes as written. I will second that. So all those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Perfect. So. Old Town Clerk Building Water Supply, I'm in the process. I could actually, I mean, yeah, um, similar to the eviction proceeding, which I could talk about later, the um, Old Town Clerk Building, I have emailed our attorney, which is what was suggested. Mm -hmm. um, I did notice that the property owner is now listed in Morristown's tenant sale publishing. <laughs> so, chance, sorry, Richard. So, sorry. It's public information. Uh, did we miss? Oh, there's procurement. All right. So, was there something about the cannon lease? I didn't see the cannon lease. Did you? I'm still chasing that information. 
I looked, but I didn't see it unless I missed it on the email. Trying to put it in order no, I don't think we got it on the email. No, I meant Oh, rare. Right, right. No. Nope. I don't see it. Um. Just want to make sure it's not. Okay. So uh, that being said, I'll go ahead and make a motion to table the canning copier lease expiration. Uh, Deb, we do have a meeting really early in February, so in about 10 days or so. So if Linda could just get us the information prior to that and we can make any motions at the next meeting, uh, we certainly don't want our top here to... Go kaput. Yeah, we, we need... Yeah. yeah, that's part of doing business. Um, next is procurement policy. Is this something you would like to... Uh, sure. <clears throat> Purchasing. Yep. So this is, you know, we've all read it. We need this to be adopted uh, for FEMA reimbursement. Um, we, it's been socialized to Lucian and Linda um, and our engineers giving it the once over. Um, Does it have to have attorney review? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. It's just a policy that we can change at any time. You don't have to warn the public. Okay. But if you feel more comfortable, we... No, 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 just checking. Um, one change that we did make is we added the town handyman to it, so he can... Uh, he's not only bound by it, but um, he has the freedom to make purchases as specified. Okay. Um, so I make a motion that we adopt the purchasing policy. I'll second that motion. We found out that the purchasing policy is something that is definitely in, in FEMA's favor. <laughs> it's mandated. Yeah, yeah it's so mandatory. it's definitely something that the town will get. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it's a great idea. So. Uh, motion made by Michael, second by Richard. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, perfect. All right, so resolution supporting completion of the rail trail. So we had that email that, that was forwarded to us. If we build it, they would come. Um, it's a good email. They're trying to sec secure more state funds for the rail trail because it was basically a, a one-off about 10 years ago that VAST is basically building the trail. So what they want to do is they want to make it um, – a project that is engineered and supported by VTrans, therefore funded by VTrans, therefore available for a lot of the matching loans and stuff that we get as a town or VTrans gets for major projects anyways. So we got this email from this attorney out in Burlington, um, which really breaks down. There's a successful rail trail over in Quebec. Um, there's, uh, he compares it to the revenue brought in by the Colchester Causeway. He, um, talks about how he did go to Lost Nation and saw the amount of riders and how he saw over 100 people just while walking the trail. Blah, blah, blah. So Vast has had a really difficult time raising funds. Donors objected to funding what they perceived to be a state park as state towns, the underlying right of way. So what's happened is we got an email today that says that Governor Scott's proposed budget has VTrans monies going into the rail trail for its completion. Mm -hmm. Right. So this letter predates today's email, which therefore I'm not really sure we can make any sort of resolution tonight, or we don't, I don't really know how that might affect this email, saying where Bass does the work. And We're just supporting the completion of the rail trail. Yeah. That's right. all the resolution yeah, is. That's all it is saying. Right. That we agree. Okay, I just want to make sure. Well, this, this was suggesting the email today suggested that it should be um, on the agenda for town meeting day. Yes. Right. That's, that's what we're so, supporting. Yeah. Right. So I just wasn't sure on what the heck it would say. I'm, I'm, I'm not opposing the rep trail at all right now. I'm just, I wasn't well, sure what. It, a couple back, he made a, he made a mock-up of what you could stick. Yeah. In it's in our inbox. It's. 
pretty benign. It's basically yeah. just the town's support for the completion of the rail trail. Any, any money involved from the town for that? So, well, I, was just looking. so I emailed the attorney a week or two ago and the According reply today, from Hans Husey, right? Was this was no. this was weeks ago. It's, it's basically they want everybody, every town, to put it on their their docket. Every town puts it on their docket. Then they have they can use this as supporting documentation to support federal money coming down, and so that the state would pay a portion. Of federal the, too. Of, and then the federal would do the matching. They, so the state would match twenty percent. Federal would support eighty percent of it. So the town, I think the I think the state funding was like two two million maybe, and then the the federal was you know. I know I'm yeah. And the lawyer but, said there is no commitment required by the town, only a statement of support for completion of the trail. So then I got an email from him after. What day was that? January fourteenth. So on the sixteenth, I followed up and I said. Um, and his answer was, there's one thing we'll ask the town to consider, but again, it's not a requirement, and that is to make your town road equipment for some minor road, minor trail improvement work, example, ditching, cleaning, or replacing culverts, et cetera. Any such work would have to be coordinated with VAST. So right there, we... But that's think, not what we're doing. We're just making right. a statement. No, that's what I'm saying. It. I don't think it's pertinent to... Oh. I'm answering. Oh, I, this, sorry, that's yeah. the information here. I just don't think it's... I don't... I think the commitment that he said that the town might have to do might be usurped by the information we got today. Yeah. That's all I was saying. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was getting at. Yeah. So the information this letter and the information we've gathered today, we were told that it might be now transferred to V-Trans out of Vast's hands, and therefore... I didn't get anything today. It, no, to, um, what did, did we get something? Was it today? No. Oh, no, okay. You no, got this, you right? You oh, got this. you got this yeah. today. We didn't yourself. Okay, that's what I was saying. I was like, I didn't get it, but okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm Michael, sorry. I understand. You nope. sent it. You sent it, Michael, from Lin, from Linda, from Michelle. Uh, that was. Right? Is that a different one? I guess that's a different one. Governor's <laughs> budget address. Yeah, that's. There's yeah. The thing total, I forwarded today. The total today. cost is fourteen million. The state, the state's twenty percent share is two point eight million. Right. Which the eleven million dollar balance will be coming from federal funds. Right. right. So all but we have to do is put this on the docket, and all the everybody puts a support in for it, and right. then they have a, they have a better case for federal monies to come down and state money to come up. Mr. Cotton, comment. I think another thing you could do, and probably should do, is uh, if you haven't already you have a meeting with your two delegates, uh, Danny and. Matt, Matt Hill. Matt, right. um, in terms of the legislative session, which is just starting, uh, make sure they understand that you support what the governor's got in his budget vis a vis the rail trip. Um, yes, and yes. raise any other issues you have with them as they go through the session, such as, um, I'll go ahead again, no state support for police protection, and now. What I heard you talking about earlier, the, um, one of the few uh, services we have for emergency response if you are sick is going up 100% in the budget. And again, uh, there's been articles about the problems that uh, organizations like Hardwick Electric, uh, Hardwick Electric, Hardwick uh, Rescue, Emergency Rescue Squad are having, in, particularly in the Northeast Kingdom, and I, I think you know it would give you an opportunity to hear from them what they're working on, but also tell them what you think is most critical for Wolpit. And certainly, this rail trail finished would be like somebody gave us Christmas. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So huge, huge, um, huge. I, I did find an email here underneath is um, dated today, this morning, says, Good morning. As, as you may have heard, Governor Scott has included substantial funding for the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail in his budget, enough to complete the trail in four years. While this is great news, there is still a risk that the funds could be removed from the budget as it works its way through the legislature. So it's important that we keep up the pressure to move ahead. 
If you have put the resolution on your agenda, please keep it there. If you have not, I hope you will. Sincerely, Hans. So that's sort of the. So we should do it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. go ahead and yep. do it. I think. Just do it. I mean, so, we've got two bridges that could get fixed out of it. You know, at least one. Yeah. We've got a covered bridge that, you know? Yeah. yeah. There's two bridges. Um, all right, so I'm going to make a motion to. Um, Pending, except pending. I'm going to make a motion to put the resolution on the agenda, but I, I think this like word should approve what it says, right? We don't talk about the town meeting warning. Yeah, yeah. He wants it on. He yeah. wants it on. Why can't we say we support the completion of the rail trail? Yeah. Yeah. They gave us canned right? language. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so as long as everyone's okay with that language, that's all. Yeah. You know, because he did. He did cook, cut us out a cookie cutter. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where yeah, it is at it. this point. I, I have it over my laptop. I can forward it around. Right. Yeah. So if we want to make, if I'd be willing to make a motion, I'm, I think it's a good <laughs> idea that we make a motion to approve <laughs> the resolution to be on the agenda pending acceptance. The warning. The warning. Yes. Thank you. I second. All right. So. Um, I made a motion to approve the re the Lamoille River Valley Rail Trail resolution to be put on the warning pending ex acceptable uh, language. Right. No, I don't think you have to say pending okay. anything. Okay. It's got to go on there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll amend that to say I'll, I'll make make a motion to um, put the rail trail. No, I'm gonna, Resolution on the town warning. Thank you. I had it before. I had it the last time. I just got up and walked right out. I'll second that. Bye, Kimberly. All those in favor say aye. 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 So Jen said she had already seconded it. Sorry, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Everybody seconded yeah. Before it was even, yeah. All right, good. That's a good follow up. There this we go. Needs to we got our bases covered. We got it all covered. Right here, so I can send it to everybody. 22 day of January. Is that eviction proceeding town property on East Hill Road? The last email I got was that he was still working on those documents that he was hoping to have to us soon. Um, that's all I have on that. Okay, attorney speak. When was that? Uh, this and last week. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so we know it's still working. Right? I'm following up, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to move on to number eight, which is the budget for 20 and 21. Um, the agenda item says uh, items to be included in the warning. Yeah, we have to come up with the items to be included in the warning and accept the budget tonight. So I'll take you through what's changed. Should we? No, I guess not. So two items changed since the last time you saw the budget. The first one is the payroll taxes. We added. Uh, Six thousand dollars to the payroll taxes so to um, cover the chance that we have both the treasurer and a town clerk. They both have to pay separate FICA taxes and Medicare taxes and retirement. Um, and um, the taxes probably went up slightly for the town crew and um, then the town administrator as well. So that's one. Um, I did add $5,000 to the administrator after the talk last time. Um, I want to rethink that after this emergency rescue. I'm not sure. Well, how much of that's going to, 
3,800 that just got offset by appropriating those two line items. Um, you could you could make that case. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's free money that's already been approved that's and true. basically paid for that 3,800. Yeah. Right. So does that number change with that new 3,800 right now? Um, so we have 44 grand uh, in in the TA fund plus this 25. Okay. I'm just. Um, if they get a family plan, that's minus 30. So it's you know it's it sounds like a lot of money, but it's not. If they get a family plan, that's minus 30. What do you mean? Is that something it costs? Yeah, that's the cost of the family plan. It doesn't need um, salary because we get a pay. Now, you know, the hours we're benefits. thinking don't have medical benefits included. So, um, you know, I guess we have to come up with a more defined job description with the, with the money that we have. Once we know the money that we have, once we <coughs> then we're going to have to put together a job description um, that we, that we think is appropriate. What else in here? Just a reminder, it has a rather, uh, you know, it has the worst case town clerk uh, scenario in there. 129,000, that's with separate treasurer, with separate town clerk. Uh, so, you know, that could be adjusted depending on who the town elects. Um, she is, thought is that. that is that something that's going to have to wait for the quarter leads to come in once we've staffed those positions and the benefits are set and everything like that? As far as the tax wise? Right. If we have to adjust that 129 down, let's say they don't get the family plan, at what point would, well, would that money get? You don't paid? adjust it down for the benefits. Yeah, so, so you're not going to adjust anything. On the floor, you adjust it. If the town well, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know on town meeting day is what I'm saying. So. No, no, no. The, but the budget, the, the uh, benefits are a separate line item. I think he's talking salary only. Yeah, I'm okay. talking salary. Sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mike, did you get that 100000 I added to the highway department? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still spinning from this emergency response block thing. So. Um, the other is this $1,000 we added it back. That's the difference with no what we just do. allocated to the yeah. TA. That's what we have left in our fund. $15,579. Oh yeah, he's been panning over it since, he, since we got it. Yeah. Mike, do you have the Harbor Emergency Response yeah, Squad? Yeah, it's right here. Can we see Kimberly it? Kimberly would like to. record the number because I gotta stick it in here. So if we stick this number in here, oh, this is anticipated revenue. Appropriations aren't in here. Why, why was there a ticket on that that this needs to go to the budget? No, that's part of the appropriations. It just adds to the right. town budget. It's not the select. Right. It's for. Right. It adds to everyone, but it, it's a separate article. Right. It's not an article that. It's not part of this. Oh, that is, that is awesome. Great. Great. Okay. So. Are we sure this is right? Because there's no way that their payroll can go up fifty thousand a year and nothing else does. He said in this that there's they have two to three hundred hours a month of volunteers. So they're going to start paying them. And it's not a sustainable model for consistent coverage, nor is it a reasonable expectation for they're an increase their FTEs. Because they can't rely on volunteers. Well, I understand that, but if you're going to increase your payroll by fifty thousand dollars, you're going to increase a, increase a whole lot more of expenses at the same time. Yeah. Health insurance is staying the same I mean, somehow. Yeah, but because, it just, they're just gonna, they're just, no because they're not going to offer health insurance, they're just going to pay some just of the volunteers. Your, ta your taxes diems. would change, your workers' comp insurance would change. 
they probably wouldn't doesn't everybody get one of these that they provide town services for or is this only work at the no, it says no it's 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 um on so average all from total, all of these yeah, towns over the last five no, no, years I get that. Calls, right? but their total expense it, there's fifty thousand dollars they just like slept out. forty forty eight thousand on that and there. somehow it's only a fifty but yeah their insurance dropped by two thousand dollars <laughs> there's it's not even possible they, they take you take people out of it full time and and decrease you no, 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 but your workers comp use. insurance is going to go up incredibly by adding fifty thousand dollars worth of payroll to your like you have a so that's right not here. that's not making sense not here you want me i'll go fire up oh, wait <laughs> that budget or they this? would have just given that to everybody oh so our, our 50,000 50, 50, I mean, is based off 45 percent everybody else has a different percent Right, but that's, know, the whole, that's the number as a whole. I thought that was just our portion of it. Yeah. No, this doesn't make sense. Let's see, this is their budget as a whole. Bill's putting his readers on, but we're out chair. So their payroll went up $48,000, but yet their insurance dropped $2,000. There's no way. Their workers' comp insurance would have increased. Where is their workers' it's insurance? It's somewhere in I thought that was health. Care. No, health this insurance. is health. They, their health insurance stayed the same. But their workers' comp insurance would have to go up. Well, to figure balance that, yeah, out but these are volunteers. So look, payroll. look, who's got who? Has, who has a look at their payroll and then look at their no, no, insurance. No, no. Five thousand dollars. Okay, that's not. But they're going to pay their volunteers by the looks. That's yeah, the look, forty-eight thousand dollars increase. This is just a piece of it. Because look, they're they're saying that how their health insurance is how much? Five grand. Who gets who? How? What kind of full-time benefit for one employee could be? That's what I'm grand? saying. I don't. I'm not sure. This I think is it's piece correct. of it. I think everybody so, from here got a piece of it. That's what I'm thinking. I think that their total yeah. expenses is total no, but it isn't <laughs> prorated. That's what I'm saying. It so isn't. So it's that not. It's not correct. Ten grand. So they only they have one so full time. This, they this have one right, worst case scenario, who does that, and all the rest, of, the rest of them are rescue squads. So this is their total revenue. This is their total expenses. Uh, sorry, this is all they're asking for appropriations for. It's a third of it. But what I'm saying is, if their payroll went from fifty two to a hundred, your workers' comp insurance rate is you have to pay workers' comp insurance on that additional forty eight thousand dollars. You don't just get that as a freebie. Even if it it's doesn't fifteen people? No. No. Because like we're not we don't pay Kurt for his five hundred dollars no, no, no. for workers' comp. Yeah. That's all they're saying is all these volunteers are gonna get a little pay. It's like Kurt, like when how he's gonna get paid to be on a committee, they're gonna pay them on the go, committee. Go ahead. Uh, no. Because they have so many people, they can't get enough volunteers. Right. It's going to pay like curves. Right. So that that one person can be on the party. So that it covers some of those hours. That's my interpretation. But their insurance still wouldn't go down. We don't pay curves. By adding a person. Workers comp for curves. He's not full time. Now that none of these people are killed. I don't know, but what she is saying is she thinks they're, she's thinking that they're hiring one full-time staffer. Not if they're only paying five grand for insurance. And cost about that. And then come up with some kind of job. Three guys, this is, this can't be right. I don't follow what you're saying. I guess health insurance-wise, I follow what you're saying. But workers' comp and liability insurance. I don't but follow not, what you're saying. But workers, but but that type of stuff that you're talking about is only for a certain type of employee, a type of. It's not a contracted employee. They're gonna pay them like they're they're I do like they're a contractor. Like if I'm a contractor and I work for you, then and right you don't here, have to pay my stuff. But it would say subcontractor. It wouldn't say payroll. Because the contractors, have well, they don't have the payroll. Probably don't have an accountant. They're probably just doing it like I'm gonna pay them and not. Did you find something out, Monica? <laughs> okay, this is a good time to use the bathroom. But if if you hire a 
years EA is full time TA, and you have to plan on a family plan of benefits. And 65 grand minus almost 30. That's why I say maybe you should be objective because we have missed on this. I mean, this is what I couldn't see. You were just seeing it going up. See, maybe that's what we're looking at. Yeah, we're, we're looking at a five and change increase in, in control part of the The other thing you could do is put you, save the 15,000 for later, and put you 44, whatever it is, for revenue there, and use it up. When you do that, you understand you have a gun administer in the best. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked you, what do you want? Because when you put this graph, you're working for it. Just tap this line here. Right? Here, 50 to 100. Right. Oh, they're doubling it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the only effective line that's seen. Yeah. The rest is the same. <coughs> but you're... Your yeah, I get what you're saying, but yeah, because your work is by your number by your number of budget, employees, right. it goes by right. your overall right. payroll total. Right. I just don't think this is a this is a like a they're just giving a round. They're giving a, it's not exact clearly because this is they're ask, only asking us to approve the post appropriations. No, I don't. I understand that. that. So which is these? That's their revenue. Town appropriations revenue, right? Because we pay right, them right. appropriations. So that's that's their what I'm saying. They're taking they're this hundred thousand, and we're going from thirteen yes. point three one to fifteen more. four. Right. They want to pay more. Just don't feel like that's just not right. right. <laughs> that's just not. It's not, it's not <laughs> they agree that. Yeah. Because half of this they won't know because it's based on calls. Yeah. So it's not. It's all dynamic. It's and this is what ours is. So it's just doubling. Everybody's right. doubling. Yeah. Yep. So that yeah. they can have this, $50,000. This is all guessing. Because you, you, you wouldn't yeah. let people work unless you had a call. Actually, some of them are Because they're not getting more calls. I'm guessing. It's like they're doubling. My guess is they haven't looked at it for a while. And they realize that they get a lot this of more calls. This one's clearly more than Walden was there. take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Right. They're getting more calls. What are we doing? I don't have any idea. Yeah. 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 Do the same old thing that we're looking to hire another person to produce. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure. This time, I'm quite sure. Here we are next year because we have some unanticipated events, no revenue to offset it, and we're in the same boat as if we came down the road. At some point, you've got to make the hard call. So that's why. Two more. Two more. I think one of the leaders is showing. Two more, right? Two more. Oh. Oh, based on the number. Yes, the yes, they don't know. They don't know. That's hard to way to do it, though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you could get massive in yeah. one. Yeah. You never know, right? You never yeah. Know. That's hard. Well, it's hard, probably. probably not. Yeah, it's it's hard. Hard. Yeah, it's it's hard. 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 It's you're reading? Yeah. Um, and then you don't know what you're talking about? 
That's because it's a year, meeting, right? This year, our appropriations has been I don't know. This year, our appropriations has doubled. Clear need. The point I was raising is the basically the fund balance figure of 15, isn't 5, so 79. Hmm? That's the, um, isn't that the whole point of working meeting? Yeah. As of the audit that they received from June 30th of 19, that's the only unobligated fund balance the town has. But they have other fund balances, like the 40,000 that they, as a select board uh, reserve for the town administrator for previous fund balances. They have 20,000 they put in capital fund from previous fund balances, and they have a couple that they moved tonight from um, fund balances that they don't need anymore, or, you know, funds they don't need anymore to the TA. And I think what they got to wrestle with is they put their budget together. Um, if they go with that budget, they pretty much got um, 25000 for administrator plus $42,000, in obligated fund balance for administrator, okay? So that's almost full time. Right. Not so, quite, so that's, that's getting up there, okay? Um, and that's why I asked for the last meeting when I saw just they put 20000 in the budget, they reconciled themselves with everything else that was going on to go with part-time administration right. initially. Um, if they're going to go with part-time administration initially, um, then I think they could put, instead of the 15, they could save that 15 and put the 40 some thousand dollars there um, as fund balance. Um, and, and I, this is me, I mean, I wish Linda was here so I could bounce this off her. Um, but it, it, it just, I think the fundamental question is like, is they are, are they going into the budget asking for part-time administration or near full-time administration? Um, and uh, if it's going to be this full-time administration, that's a decrease in revenue of 7000 that just is going to increase the budget. Uh, right. And then you add in what they got tonight from the Harvard Emergency Services. I mean, that increase alone is almost a half cent of tax rate uh, to Harvard Emergency Services. So um, I think that's the fundamental question that, that they've got to wrestle with when they come together with what they want to present. And I understand both sides. I mean, I understand the frustration that we need to get from A to B. We need to do this. I mean, we need something like this. And we don't know how it's going to work out for the office. We don't know who's going to get you know, elected. We don't know um, what kind of training is going to be necessary. Um, uh, so it, it's a weird budget to put together. And then you put all that you add into that the increases over which they've got no control, like the storm, the loan they just took tonight, the increases because of the electronics with the state, um, normal increases. It's just, but I think it all boils down to what now their fundamental question is. Are we going to go from A to B in a not straight line? gradually, or uh, what are we going to put here for fund balance? That's what I was... So, so my two cents is, or what I would advocate for, is going for a part-time. I know we have, but that's 43 grand plus 25 grand, what is that, 68, but that's one-time funds, and um, I don't think it would be financially prudent to spend all that is going forward, we do have $25,000 going forward in the select board budget. We have $10,000 going forward next year in the highway budget, that's 35. We have 40 going forward um, with, with another 5,000 
in the town clerk's budget for consulting fees that's meant to, you know, that line item will get changed to TA in the next budget. So add that up, it's not very much in future funding, right? So yeah, we have money this year, but we don't have the money for next year. And so I would temper our expectations, I would advocate tempering our expectations this year, part time, um, and then gradually building it up as needed, if, if needed. And, and you don't have to put the whole 40 some thousand that you've got from TA there right now. I mean, you could, you could raise that 15 to 22 using part of that and still save part of that. For the next year, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, we could do that. You could. I mean, it doesn't have to be the fifteen five seventy nine or the other. It could be that plus a little bit of the other, and you save it for the next year too. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. So, so in in future financing for a, the position, um, what did I say? We have twenty five, ten is thirty five, five is forty. That's really what we have in the budget for this position. Right. That's a part time. Right. right. And and now that I hear myself say that, your idea sounds pretty good because if we have twenty five grand in our budget already towards that, we can subtract twenty five perhaps from the forty, add that to the fund balance to offset. Well, you don't want to get the fund balance too high because you know it'll. There's another year to consider, but you can definitely, I think, go more than 15 um, there for fund balance, given what you've got. You can take some of the 40 some you've got in that, or have you want to play it? But I mean, I so you could easily put 25 there and not hurt anything for the following year. So you're talking taking 10 from the TA balance and carrying it forward. <coughs> So is the fun is the fundamental question here that we're supposed to be like dragging and pulling cents and stuff out of little buckets and and trying to to get something so we can have a position or is the decision on the table that this position is what the town needs going forward and then we actually as a town say yes this is what we want and then we actually understand that the answer if we say yes this is a position that we want and we want to support that we know that we actually put money towards it like it feels like we're like we're like doing some weird magical math with the numbers and such to to get it to where we need to get it and really the question i would think as a taxpayer i would like to be presented to me is is this something that we feel is in the benefit of the town? If the answer is yes, as a, as a group, as a taxpayer, yes, we support this position, then we just start funding it. It's not a every year we, nobody's gonna, I wouldn't imagine taking a position, even if you pay the person $80,000 with the, oh, caveat, we, don't, we haven't figured out how we're gonna pay for you next year. So you'll probably just be here for 365 days and then we're gonna try our best to. To, but every year we're going to go back to the taxpayers and say, well, we're going to pull this from here and this from here and this. For, oh, and we're a little bit short. So I guess this year we're going to have to ask for, for 20000 And then, oh, next year, well, we're going to have to ask for thirty. Like, it seems like, why don't we just get the answer? Like, I, I get that you have to be able to fund it. But just like this, all this new appropriation stuff, it's it's the... What's the purpose? Is are we saying we need this position or not? And if we say we need it, then we pay we 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 add it to the budget. And it's just a line item, and and we just go forward with that. I mean, question. question. Is this going to be an article to vote on if we're going to have it done or not? No, this is built in the budget at this point. For one year. They're not going to ask the town. Uh, no, at this point, um, the select board has appropriated money before with the goal of this. We asked the town if we could do it in a special meeting outside of the budget season because uh, we thought it was necessary. And then when that didn't happen, this is the way that we decided to move forward. Okay, all right, so.
Well, I'll tell you right now, just this to me for mom, wastewater management. I got a folder that thick. And I got to get reports back in the next month or two. And the road for me doesn't have the time to do that. We need a ministry. We need somebody to do it. I, I agreed to stay until town meeting, but I'm not staying. Uh, I'll help you out as long as I can, but I am. You need a town ministry just to help over there, talk about what's going on in here. Yeah. Well, and the, and the, the, FEMA, the FEMA storm also spoke to that. Yep. The grant, the grants that are upcoming, the road work that is upcoming, the planning. I mean, it is, it is busy. Where it is hard. Are going to start getting funds. Yes. Yes. That's what's going to happen. And we're placing a second institution for two years in a row. Well, third with Skip and Linda and Belinda, three people who've been here for decades, and now we're flipping all of that over and. Um, if it's the chance to re to reorganize the government so it works better and it's more modern and it and it serves the taxpayers better, I do think that that's an opportunity that we have to consider. I mean, I hate paying taxes too. <laughs> we're an organization. We're we're a company. We're a town, but we're really a business here. And yeah, the total budget's in the millions of dollars. You need to help, and I don't want to pay for it. But more news, you know how I feel, Jim. Um, and, you know, because uh, my, my, my fundamental question is just, you know, how are you going to go from A to B? And if, if you're going to go for part-time next year, then you can do it this way and see how things break out with your organization in the office and not continue and make it clear to the town in your budget that you want the town administrator. If the town doesn't like that, as Bob indicated, they may not. Then they can vote the budget down. It's as simple as that. But I think you as a select board have made it pretty clear the last six months that you want to see this town move to some kind of administration or town move with some kind of administrative help to running the town. Um, and the only reason I raised the points I did tonight is just trying to give you, have you come out with a budget that it's going to be an increase to the town, but um, an increase that you can really defend either way, and, and, and an increase that you're comfortable with. Um, last year, the town got hit, and primarily because of the bridge. This year, half of what you're doing is because of the damn storm. We could have a bonanza next year with the return of a lot of this money through FEMA. We don't know. We don't know who's going to be elected uh, and how that will play out. It could play out to our advantage. It may not. When I say error of the town. Um, that's it. Um, but Jen, you're absolutely right. And, and I think one way or the other, this budget has to save the town. We select board want to move in this direction. And this is what it's going to cost you next year. And we're trying to do it so that if we do it the following year, it won't be as big a hit. That, that's the goal. So it is, I guess, to answer your question, it is kind of a part time person at this point. It sounds like it. It sounds like if we want to try and have all the taxpayers meet in the middle where we're, I mean, the irony is no one says boo about the school or the uh, yeah. the sheriff's department raising. Here we want to try and modernize the government, make everything run more efficiently, and people will say something. So we have to be ready to defend it. If, if part-time's the way to go so that people don't think that money that we've pretty much already appropriated for this year shouldn't be allotted there, you know, I mean, that's a discussion to be had, but. So what is the total amount that you have in here when you add everything together that you're talking about so for a TA? To take this down to 20, and the total money that we have in here right now is 20,000 for a TA. Uh, we have 43,000 in the fund balance, but as far as in this budget right here, we have 20,000 going forward. So, uh, so you're going to hire a part-time TA for 20000 
Yeah. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's 43. That's what I'm saying. So, okay, that's, yeah. To include that in benefits. Okay. So $63,000 for a part-time employee. You're going to have retirement, so it would be... So that includes that? Does that include their retirement and their insurance? So you're talking $63,000 you're going to pay somebody to come in here and work part-time. Well, minus, you know, the, the, the retirement. <clears throat> With the caveat that they have until town meeting day, because we can't guarantee that they're going to have a job after that. Right. So we haven't made it. Well, a lot of well, no, because some of these dollars that are in this year's budget will be carrying over until next year's budget unless we decide to cut them out. So you're saying part time, like twenty four thirty at what are you talking hours wise? How many hours a week? Has to be has to be under thirty because we can't afford for sixty some odd thousand dollars a year. I think it's how much are you proposing per hour? Um I I don't have an hour. I'm just guessing. Yeah. But but you you're not talking about allocating sixty thousand dollars to twenty nine dollar part time person, right? Um I think that's that's what what we're discussing there. So that would be the highest paid. Yes, definitely. That would be like definitely. a one candidate, but I would caution on spending all that money, like I said, because we have to carry this going forward. So really, out of that 60, I mean, you have 40. If you, if you spend 40 of that 60 this year and carry the 20 going forward, then you have 40 going next year, right? Because we have 20 in our, in, in our select board budget. Plus so, the 10 in the front. Really, what I heard, from, what I thought I heard from the town was, that's great that you have the forty grand to help finance the town administrator this year, but next year we're looking at a big step change because that those monies are going to, you know, that money's going to be spent. So that's why um, we were thinking that reallocating the $10,000 for Lucian's time, reallocating the $5,000 for Linda's time, and the $20,000 that we have in here, that's $35,000 going forward funding this position. Very close to what we would spend in year one. So it is paid for kind of in right. the future. No, it just looks to me like you're, you're funding the pay for a full-time position, but it's a part-time position, ultimately. Well, I, I mean, 60 some odd thousand dollars a year. For a full time position, if they have a family plan, that's $30,000 in salary. If they're working 20 hours a week, then we're looking at 30 bucks an hour. At would 60 be like, grand? No, it would be like 31,000. You're left saying over, once you take left off, over, the... yeah. yeah. Some money left over to support them for the next year. I see that. But like a, a twenty hour person, the town has to pay and they have to pay the retirement. Right. Even at yeah. twenty hours. Yeah, which is week. which is what how much is that? Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Days. That's a week. Qualify for retirement. Oh no, I'm just wondering for yeah, like it's, going it's overkill. Able to, I'm thinking of the oh, shock right. factor. Well, that's what I'm Bill thinking of. Yeah. Which is yeah, no, I'm yeah. just thinking outside the box. Twenty hours a week for that thirty dollars an hour is thirty-one two plus your health and your whatever the retirement which is five grand would be thirty six thousand mm -hmm. which is what we would have every year with a little bit left over to for basically for anything that comes up, right. up little little that comes up later. and then the insurance <laughs> we don't have to pay the insurance for like 25 hours just so that's that, what i'm the, saying just if the, you're talking the, 30 six thirty seven thousand dollars a year why are we budgeting 60 something i don't know what's what should we budget that's, well, we that's, what, that I'm, that's what I'm questioning. 
That's all I'm questioning. Because it's basically in support of next year, so that we don't yeah, have to go this do this also again. Trying to get this so that you don't have to. So if they say no, we're not losing this budget. Run, we don't lose the person because we didn't. We didn't. You get don't our think budget. you'd have a better chance of them accepting your budget if you put in what you issue. need it will be for issue. the part-time position. Do you see what I'm saying? You're, I mean, you're ultimately doubling it, what you really need to fund this position for, excuse me, for one part-time employee for a year. So let's, let's make some modifications. No, I'm just, I'm, we, we, I'm just curious. The, the only question only is because you would much, sell it to me quicker than saying, okay, I need $65,000 for a part-time employee. You would sell it to me quicker, sorry, if you said I need $35,000 for a part-time employee than if you told me I need $65,000 for a part-time employee. Okay. I get, but we, I get, we already no, I have that. You're saying no, that you're trying right. to get it in there it's, so it's, next year you don't have to do it. Right. But we already know that we're treading on pretty bad waters because people came in and said they didn't want it. Well, we've never by one, 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 one. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not so disagreeing with it. I think we wholeheartedly need it. it. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying the way that we present it is, is going to make or break it. No doubt. And if you almost double what you <coughs> additionally need at the beginning, they're going to go, wow, no way. I don't know. I don't know. Not, no, we're thought. not, though, because the fund, we have already... The, the only reason it's up to $68,000 is because we previously took that little chunk of money from that we the, had and put it in towards the, that's not, it's that's just that one time done. Yeah, it's, it's already paid. It's, the, we're trying to figure out what we're going to need to go forward to support this position. It, we just happen to have a little extra money, which see, we shouldn't even really... We don't even really need to talk about because it's, it was only a, a move that we made in, to help support a full time person. Now that we don't, we're not. We're we don't on, we're right. Then right. Then it's not. Then it's just because we we can't reapportion sure it to the board. Yeah. Mr. Scott. I'm going to make a recommendation to you. Um, you guys got 20 thousand dollars in the budget, you got ten thousand dollars in the roads budget, you got five thousand dollars in um, town clerk the town clerk's yep. budget for training. Right, it may not be transition. That, yep. That's the thirty five thousand right. dollars you've said that could go to the Yep. Right. Yep. We're, not, we're not this coming fiscal year. We don't need it this year. In the in the future. Right, right. I would take and change the fund balance figure from fifteen five seventy nine to thirty five thousand dollars. Boom. That's only an increase of about eight thousand. If I'm reading it right, from what it was this year. Um, and basically, you can look at that two ways. But the thirty five thousand you're putting here, you can say to the people, we put twenty thousand ten and five. We covered it. In the revenue, right there, right. and it knocks twenty thousand off that aggressive yeah. sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, it knocks twenty thousand yes. off the yes. forty you've got, but keeps twenty for another year. Right. Yep. There's but then you can use the, the Lego you can use here, the fund yeah. balance to pay for anything, anything, yeah. at, any any moment, fund at any moment, at any moment, like at any moment. Is your so question? Why you wouldn't we use the capital reserve for that, or does that only get allocated once a year? Because we yeah, open reserve is really for maintenance, oh, construction kinds of things. Okay. Um, and uh, but it's 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 part of your fund balance that's obligated right now because you put it in capital reserve to start that fund. Okay. If you did thirty five thousand there, you're basically taking twenty thousand of the forty seven thousand you talked about tonight. It's in the so it, you know, in the TA account and and putting it in your budget for revenue along with that 15 or saving the 50. It all comes out the box. It all comes out. Yes. That's why I'm like, I, I, I don't sense. understand why we're doing it. It's it's just money. It just doesn't you look buy. like you're telling the taxpayers what they have to do with that $20,000. Right. It's, yep. it's, it's funny. No. Which makes people feel very and it gives, warm and, and it gives us a lot more... Um, 
a ability to use that money in which how you could say you, this way you could say look we built in to get to an administrative position for the town for us the town select for the town um we're not going for war this year exactly we don't want to use all that money at one time because there is another year um so we're doing it gradually we also want to do it gradually because we got to reorganize this office. We don't know who that's going to be and what that's going to entail. But by putting that, that figure there at 35, it nicely covers those three things you've got in the budget. And I think it's saying, look, we've used the fund balance to cover what we've put in the budget. So we have to make a motion to reassign the 43,000 that we have in the TA fund. We have to make a motion to move 20 of that to unassigned. To fund balance. You do it that way, right? To fund balance. Just to fund balance. Move the 20 back to fund balance and keep the 23 there. Because the taxpayers get that. Mm. No, 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 not, not, not for an an annual budget that we have. I understand the reason for sure. I thought they were the ones that told us that we, we asked permission whether we could take that money and do it. I thought, no? Am I missing it? It's the complete vote. We asked them if we could take that money. I think moving it into the fund balance where we'll have more ability to use it as we see fit with not necessarily knowing how the <coughs> town municipality is going to organize in March. <coughs> we just don't know. We just don't know. So that fund balance, that fifteen thousand five hundred seventy-nine, is, is we can use for whatever we want. That right? Yeah, you can Actually, move it. That's the only unobligated fund balance you have right, right. now for the audit. But you have the opportunity <coughs> selectively to move the other fund balances around or change them. I mean, you have the latitude to take. I, I hope I know what I'm saying is right. You have the latitude to take, for example, $20,000 from your account for town administrator and move it back to unobligated fund balance so that you use it to budget it. I'm not even sure you have to do that. I think you can take the $20,000 and put it there for revenue because it's already obligated for, look, look, you got twenty thousand dollars for town administrator, and you got a fund balance with, set up for town administrator. And you can put the twenty thousand right there. But either way, I don't think that's the reason. to have it. Uh, Say that again, Bill. Uh, no, I don't know. Oh. no, no, just the last part. You said you've got twenty thousand. You got twenty thousand in the budget. For Administrative the, the select board budget has twenty thousand yes. dollars in it for. I yes. just I'm trying to make this clear for everyone. Yes. Okay. So take twenty thousand dollars from the account that you set up for administrative time and put it there for revenue, and it, and it offsets it. That you have thirty-five thousand five seventy-nine, five seventy-nine, and then it eliminates the town administrator out of the uh, select board budget. No, no, no. no. That line just just stays. Rid of the line it just goes to twenty. So then the no, town doesn't like go anywhere. Basically, with the thirty-five, you've got money. Oh, there. so it's a line on the balance. Zero balance. balance. Yeah. Town administrator No, because we need it there. So move it there for more. Oh, right. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta build it into the budget in order that when we do want to go reassign it, we're, we have a place to put it that's designated for that particular. We're just not budgeting anything in it. Per se, we're putting that same money that we would have had into fund balance yep, where we have yep. the ability to use it how we want, not necessarily as a town administrator. Yep. Take the town administrator line out, just or excuse me, leave it, it in, but zero balance. Zero balance it. And then now we're showing thirty-five thousand dollars in the revenues and fund balance, mm -hmm. uh, which we can reassign. So the total budget number doesn't go down. And then that way, the, and then that way, yeah. once the town clerk and the treasurer and the benefits and everything like that gets settled, we can really have an and idea. And you have an idea, clearer what, idea of what it is. I mean, 
how many months do you think it's going to take to hire a full or a part-time town administrator? Part-time person. If you pay them sixty-eight thousand dollars to work twenty hours a week, not very long. That's again. That wasn't the point. That's no. not. <laughs> that, uh, that's on the record. That's okay. But that's not what we're offering. I know. No, no. <laughs> I just need that to be on the record. It's a part-time. Three hundred dollars. Okay, I'll take it. So, so I'm just not familiar with unassigned mining. All, all the stuff in here is restricted, committed, well, or assigned. So your fund balance is non-restricted. That's the only. Does that help you? That's the only place. Non-restricted funds. Through, through the fiscal year, we can grab it. That. What? Yes. Yeah. That's not a politically correct word for that kind of thing. Well, it's it is essentially ultimately. And if something else came up, you could use it for that. And then we if don't, we don't, if we don't, if we don't we use it, and if we don't use it, it, we don't have a big absurd balance in a position that was never filled. Exactly. If, if yeah, if this is the way the board wants to proceed, I'll make the gent agree. Yeah, it sounds sounds like yep. Oh, that yeah. that would ahead. be the easiest thing. So yeah. we're gonna have to make a motion to move to unassign twenty thousand dollars from the TA fund and put it in the fund balance. And I'm going to up this to 35,579. And, and zero balance the TA. It needs the TA position under select board has to have a zero on it, so it has to still budget. exist. Don't it, don't eliminate that line. No. What? No, 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 no. Oh, all right. Yeah. We, oh, all right. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doubling my twenty thousand dollars right now. So my yes. Yeah, so this will be 35,579. Okay. <sighs> No, 30, yeah. 35. There you go. And then back up to your TA. This is where I'm, I'm not with you. Why are we backing up to the TA? The select board. Wherever the 40 is. Oh, the 40 isn't in here. I apologize. It's in the I apologize. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that's where the big confusion Audit of the thing. 20s are. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that stays there. Absolutely. Yep. So then, and your increase is ten grand. Right. So we increase ten grand. And we're showing revenue. Yeah. This isn't. This isn't in the summation of the percentages. Um, so we're at five point five percent increase. That revenue not considered. So that revenue, I guess, would decrease the increase. Right. Essentially, that number is the ceiling. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> so, I guess we can... And your extra funds are just sitting in a fund balance to be used for anything. The you, yep. Yeah, I mean, if you chose to use them as, for a TA in a different year, you could. If a bridge went out, you could put it towards that. You could put it towards anything. Okay. But it's not sitting there assigned like you're paying... You have to use it for that. You're exactly. specifically designating exactly. it for something that is incredibly variable, and we really don't right. know what the budget's going to be. Okay. So then someone needs to make a motion to move on $20,000. Oh, I thought you already did. From the assigned TA. I'm not confident in this. That's why I'm reluctant. Can I ask you a question? A question, too. So if if we, we get on the floor and we had that, that what we'd already talked about, that the option of two people came and we wanted to make that um, amendment on the floor. Could we say that the amendment was to put that additional budgeted money into the fund balance? You could amend the you could amend the proposed budget at that point. Yeah, you can and do, do the math. You can put it into the fund balance. You can put it into the TA line item under the select board, or reduce so the, it back the so the down. but just so what, because you have a budget, it doesn't mean you're going to use it. it right. It'll end up next but, year in right. your fund balance. But it would mean, but it would, but it would, yeah, it would reassign. go out of that that um, town clerk treasurer budget, and we would put it into the. So the total, the total, the bottom number that we're asking for in our budget wouldn't change. We'd just be ta on the floor, be taking that to. Okay. That's that's certainly one way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to have uh, all the departments chip in their their. No, their, this is the this is if 
we because we're if it's one person, we don't need to be paying it as if it's two. Oh, right, right. Then that extra, which is again extra, yeah. why this budget is so variable yeah. at this point. I mean, we, we've got a plan for right. all of this, case right? We've got a plan yeah. for absolutely everything, and the only thing that we can do right now is hope that maybe town clerk and treasurer comes around. And it's the same individual, so therefore you're cutting off a couple of dollars on your insurance or your Medicaid or Salary. anything like that. So, I mean, it's just, did we have to plan for this? We just, which, which is part of what is, you know, tough that's why I like, I like, I, I, I like this approach. I really like the approach of moving the, the 35 into fund balance and having access at that money so that when we do know how, what we need it for, it will be there for right. us. Because if we don't get the TA and we end up needing 10 more for auditing or the accounting, we're not coming back at the taxpayers or we're not losing stuff out of another budget that we already have earmarked or thumbed or is, you know, not within our control. So, yeah. And it's just not a shocking number to look at. No, no, it's a reasonable, no. it's a reasonable raise. And, and, and I, I do think Kimberly had a, a really good point of, you know, if you're a guy who reads budgets like Bill and you see that 60 some odd thousand and then you ask one of us and we're selling a part time position, you know, that's going to be a tough sell. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a lot harder than us showing how we want to piecemeal and baby step our way into the full time funded position, which I think this budget does a little bit better. But. Great. So let's proceed that, you know, along these lines and. Let's, let's be optimistic that we're doing this all right. And uh, I'll make a motion to move $20,000 from the town administrator assigned fund balance to the unassigned fund balance. I'll second that motion. It was by Richard. So there was a motion made by Michael, second by Richard. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so I mean, the next thing we want to do is accept this budget, I guess. Right, so now that the numbers are in there, um, at this point, all of our numbers are filled. As we said, with, with this Hardwick emergency, the appropriations is a different article. So for this budget, as far as the, our article right. is, it should be, Our should be complete. set in stone at this point. It, uh, the only variable is the... Um, um, where is that? Payroll taxes could go down a little, a couple grand. But right, but that's again, nothing you on just the, have extra. It's less, Extra's it's, not bad. Yep, and less than a half a cent yeah. really doesn't push yeah. the dial for anyone, I wouldn't say. Better to have too much than not right, enough. So It'll make next year easier. Hopefully we don't have a FEMA event this fiscal year. Oh, bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll make a motion to accept the budget as proposed by Michael, um, uh, you know, because we already made the changes, so that's fine. So I make a motion to accept the budget as proposed by Michael. I'll second it. By Kimberly. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Michael, for all your work. Sure. Yeah, jeez, Mike. <laughs> Much appreciated. Good. I'd like to say aye, boy, too, because how many sadness did you and I get together to work on Yeah. Budget? And Linda and Jen too. And Linda sorry, and Jen, yeah. Jen too. Yeah. Mike's done a terrific job with the budget. Yep. He's put a lot of time in it. Yeah. And he's got we during the day. Thank you, sir, for the yep. time you put into it. Thank well, he's helped, he's helped me do a lot to understand it too through this process because it's, you know, and this is also compliments to Linda and Belinda and the crew that we had running in here before because the select board used to just be handed something and they used to just point out the, the things that they changed and why and it was always. You could be trust and confident in what they gave oh, yeah. they gave us because that's what they did. It was great. So this was well, a learning experience. Uh, in the audit, there's a page, I forget the number, Mike and I'm looking at, where it has the different fund balances. Yeah. Um, and the last column on the right, assigned fund balances. Yeah. It's where you find the forty thousand dollars for TN. Yeah. You need to review those periodically because, like you did tonight, some need to be unassigned to move to something else or just back to regular fund balance. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you do that, doesn't mean the next meeting you can't do it differently. That that's that's in your purview to assign those figures around. I mean. 
So it's not some, I mean, you put $40,000 in, for example, for a TA, that doesn't put it in concrete. Right. right. That just says that's what we'd like to do with it, but we reserve the right to do something else with it if something else more important comes along. All right, great. Any other comments regarding the budget? So I don't see the included in our warning. So we do have to do something about appropriations because appropriations are in the warning. The appropriations are in the warning, so we should go through. We do have to do something. Yep, with that. we have to go through and compare. Michael has the old. I guess we don't have a formal list of the appropriations that we've been asked for. Other than oh, I do. Stuff we do. We've been, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, we do have that yeah, list. Yeah, yeah we, we do. do. We have to figure out who's not on that list or who hasn't given us numbers, and if we want to level fund them or just cut them out. I think we did that, didn't we, Dan? Remember? Didn't we level fund anyone who hadn't asked us for anything? Yeah, but there was one or two that we hadn't gotten anything from. Right? Was it there? And remember, to this, we have to add... I have some additions. We have to add the uh, old schoolhouse, right? We have to add the rail trail, and we have to possibly add an appointed treasurer if we so desire. I think I think we should personally. But not to appropriations. No, 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 not no, to appropriations. The warnings, Just the warning. The warning. The warning. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, geez. No, no. Let's start with appropriations first, just because that was a conversation that we started with. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, should we use last year's or do we have that? No, those are all the town budgets on the one that Deb gave us. So yeah. the appropriations are. I mean, does anyone, has anyone seen any that of these? That list, this list right here, I, I didn't have, there was no numbers in them except for the, the hardwood one, right? Here. Well, that's what I said. We make a choice to be the level fund or zero fund. But I thought that. If you don't have to level fund it, that's up to you. If the request is not there, then you don't have to put it on. I don't remember getting requests last year either. That is a I mean, it's, it's hard to eliminate. The town report. It's hard to eliminate. Well, this, this is from the, the town report. Yeah. yeah. Right. And we haven't gotten any letters this year? Sure. Oh. It's a lot. It, and it gets, yeah, it's more and more. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, my understanding is it's just like automatic. Right. It doesn't go up. The only one, you know, that was brought to your attention was is the one that the one that actually went up. Yeah. Everyone, everything so else is assumed that it just stays the same. Just not. I mean, we just didn't get in our the hands. Red yeah. Cross, Council right. Aging, Adult Basic Education, Clean the Howard Nichols, Hardwick Emergency's got to get changed. But home share, justice for dogs, we use the Moyle County food share. It's hard to Citizens think that they don't. Town utilize every one it's hard to think yes. that people don't use any of these. To say no. That's no, what I would. That's I exactly where I'm going. For fourteen hundred dollars, I'm sure we get our meals on wheels of the Moyle County's value yeah. worth annually. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead, and then we have to amend the appropriation for Hardwick Emergency Rescue Squad. That's something we have to do. Or we don't necessarily have to do. I mean, yeah, we have to do that. Can That's a question? critical I service. I might have missed it when I missed in December. Did we dedicate the town report to anyone this year? Yeah, we're going to do our work. Okay, so we did. Okay. I had a brief, I did have a conversation with. Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure somebody. With Allison, knows. and she was like, yeah, let's do it just for someone who's around. Yeah. As opposed to waiting. Good idea. <laughs> Because uh, every other year, unfortunately, we've waited. Um, you know, again, this is emergency rescue squad. I know we have an ambulance here, but I mean, it's hard to. Yeah. So, so this is my only issue with the emergency with rescue squad. Yeah, I have no issue with emergency. You so just don't buy into their budget. No, 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 no. Well, I, I can't figure out their budget, but that's okay. So what if we say, yes, we'll do this, and then all the other towns say, no, we won't do this. 
then and then ultimately they're, they're not going to have the money to get this extra position, but yet we just gave them double the money. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to take away from them at all, but say, so we say, yeah, would, we'll, we'll double our appropriation so you can get this position. But then other towns say, no, we won't. So the but next year then we, they have, get the position we have anyways. our yeah. But that could but happen every my, year, right? Well, we soon. don't usually, they don't usually tell you exactly what it's for, whereas this year they are. That's they my, are well needed in the Oh, I'm not saying they're not needed. Not at all. That's, I didn't want it to come off like that. Well, I understand yeah. they're well needed. I just wonder what happens to if they don't get you want to the see? appropriations from all of the other towns to fund this position. Then I'm sure they Will they still it. do the position and just use our funds for that? Yeah, or, you know, the same is true with the sheriff's work? budget yeah, too, right? I don't right? know how that yeah. works. I don't know how it, it works either. Because the, because it's a base, their revenue is only based Although on Although I guess calls. they can use the money for something else. They can Never use it for whatever they want. Yeah, I guess they could. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. kind of like we're just appropriating the money. And they do, and they do need it. It's and they do need it. Services. Yeah. Yeah. So regardless. We know it's just, again, it's really hard to say no to almost any of these yeah. that are on this yeah. list. No, yeah. Yeah. They're all they service providers in a rural community. Yeah. 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 Their budget is on page 62 of uh, 82 of your town report. Right, and that's just like an ad. They could still use the money regardless. Oh, yeah, it's the same there as it is. Us. I'm not sure. It's still the same. It's the same exact mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. That's not yeah. it. Not messing, not the bottom line. Yeah, they, give it, they give us this. If, if I call for an ambulance, I want an ambulance. 82, Jim. 82. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, I wasn't trying to say they weren't valuable. Hardwick's not valuable. Yeah, yeah, Hardwick is taking in a $22,000 hit. Grassberries. Taken in the same as us. Greensboro even more. No. Standard is going from five hundred to twelve hundred dollars. Right. That's a lot. Right. For the yeah, for standard, gee, they got a one-man road group. Maybe. How many? How many calls do you think they do? One percent of your calls go to standard. You have no idea. You can't predict how many emergency calls are going to come. Uh, Subcontracts over. Oh, they do so now? They do the hospital budget. They were. Right. 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 Do they get their driveways done too? Yeah, I believe they yeah, I think it's one of those towns. Um, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. It's not necessarily just, you know, for this extra position. They obviously have places they can use the extra money. Yep, just like we do. Just yeah. the yeah. 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 So then. I think I'd like to make a. I'm going to go ahead and make a motion to keep the appropriations um, for the uh, for what keep the appropriations for the town meeting warning level funded as per Article Eight from the March fifth, twenty nineteen town meeting warning, with the change of Hardwick Emergency Rescue Squad. Being thirteen thousand four o three twenty six thirteen four o three twenty six, which is a change of which math I'm not doing in my head right now. I'll second it's on the that. First page six thousand. Yeah, it's a six thousand six thousand three hundred seventy four dollar raise for emergency rescue services. So the uh, I made the motion to accept. The appropriations as per Article 8 of the March 5th, 2019 Town Meeting Day Warning with the amendment of Hardwick Emergency Rescue Squad going up to $13,403.26. I'll second that. Was, by, was by Kimberly. All those in favor say aye. 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 Michael, you had a couple more bones to pick on this one? Uh, I'm, I'm on the warning. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're on. Oh, um, yeah, we, uh, oh. First, can you sign the procurement policy? I did. You did. Awesome. Uh, the uh, old schoolhouse. Remember the appropriation that they oh, requested right. on the old schoolhouse? And it should be an article? Yeah, it should be an article. Should it be an article or should it go right along with Article 8 and all the appropriations? No? You think it should be a separate line? I... Linda told us that it has to, it, it can't. Go in with those. Oh, okay. It has to be approved. 
it has to be a nonprofit. Nonprofit, oh, right? Which okay. we point we said they want to mix up with preservation because preservation could have gone in Article Eight, but not Perfect. that. So, Thank you. um, pretty simple. Then it's an article. What's their number nine? I thought it was ninety-five. I don't have it at my fingertips. Okay, so there the basic. Options? I thought there was two options that we were gonna. We were. There were the two article five. was one one article was gonna match the town was gonna agree to match the two five hundred. Yeah. And the other article was that we put ninety. Nine thousand dollars into the budget. That's right. That's right. You're right. You're I right. think that's the appropriate yeah. way to go. That's right. I do have that somewhere. Yeah, I do too. I'm just trying to find it. Here it is. Yay. <laughs> so, two separate articles. It's going to have to be because. Well, we can we can match the five hundred, right? That's a thousand bucks. So, but we can't put that yeah, in okay. Article 8. <laughs> no, it can't go in Article 8. Anyways. Right, so. Monica said it has to be separate. Right, right, right. So we have to ask, or so then where do you want to put the thousand bucks or where do you want to get it from? Um, right? We're right. Taking, we're taking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Richard, take a shall the, the, the well, first article shall the voters shall the voters approve the town matching Grandma. contribution for a thousand in the amount of thousand dollars for the grants for historic preservation trust paid for out of the that's the easier board. way to do it just add them as articles yeah. and then the yeah. second one would say does the would the taxpayers like to um, create a reserve fund for matching grant awards to the tune of eight thousand five hundred. Paid for out of the reserve fund, the non-restricted reserve fund. Yeah, we just right. we, have which, all, we just, which we just put, which we just put the money in. Bolstered. You have to know where it's going to come from. Yes, you can't do that. <laughs> we should have it be added. It's added, it's to, added the, to the budget. It should be added budget. to the budget. Eighty-five hundred dollars. This is not to our, to our budget. Yeah. But you just approved your budget. No, not to the fund. Right, because we would have to add it. They would be amend, right. An article would be amending. Would be an article to. Uh, and above and beyond your approved budget by $8,500, and the $8,500 would be for all the taxpayers to say we're going to add $8,500 to this total budget to, to put into the historical society, whatever the name is. The, the budget but, I don't I don't know what the, the name no, is. No, 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 the budget, so the budget won't Rest, get approved. Old school the house restoration. Old the, school house restoration. The budget won't get approved until after this article would get passed. Right, so what I'm asking. And so we would have to figure out a way to let people know that it would alter, item. it would alter the line ultimately item added what. To the, right. They'll tell you that at the end before you vote on it. Yeah, that anything, anything was added in. Added yep. Yep. Because it, it would change, Artic, the way it would read now is that what we approve tonight has to be what we're asking the voters to authorize. Once we ask them to authorize either the thousand or the eighty five hundred or both, it's going to change the bottom line of this and raise taxpayers' tax base yeah, because we're not budgeting for it. You don't know that, though. That's if they vote for it. If they vote for right, it, it's exactly. It's automatically going to raise that. Yes. Right. right. Yeah. Right. right. Yep. Exactly. So right. it would create. It would create an amended so article. Article-wise, it's no different than the sheriff's budget. Right, 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 exactly. We're just separating it into two. Right. And, and because and one's a reserve fund and one's for matching grants. And all these little things. Not reserve fund. No, no, I'm wrong now. Yeah, not reserve fund. No, I'm wrong. Oh, the, a reserve fund as far as they're concerned, for not our specific. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, yeah. reserve yeah. fund specifically was, for right, right, right. No, I was wrong. I got you. Taking it out of the, yeah. I got you. No, no, no this right, right. be in addition no, to. No, I got you. Great. Yeah, so me. let's proceed with the original idea of two yeah. separate articles. Or okay, one so article. let's say, um, let's write, let's create an, uh, an article that would say, shall the voters appropriate $1,000 to the Town of Wilkett Historic Preservation Committee for uh, the Schoolhouse Restoration Committee. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right, sorry. Shall, yes, the article is going to be Shall the voters approve $1,000 for matching grants for the Schoolhouse Committee? Right, right. And that's one article. 
That's one R. Yeah. So I make that motion. Second. Uh, like Kim, is, it, is this a motion? Are we making you motions? Have to. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're adding right. this to the right. warning. Right. Right. We have to add Let's this to the warning yep. right now. Yep. Yep. So I made the motion for the one thousand dollars in ma for matching grants. It's been seconded. Yeah. I seconded. Yep. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Perfect. So now the second article, individual upon itself, shall the voters. Uh, approve $8,500 to the schoolhouse committee for matching grant awards and application procurement. Mm -hmm. A reserve fund yeah. for matching grant awards and application procurement. Wait, is that what it was for? I thought the idea the, that that That's what it says was here for, was for. So they're not using it unless they get a mat, unless they get a grant. Uh, well, there'd be these this right. this fund balance for grant matching, so they wouldn't have to come to us every I time see. they wanted a match for their I grant. See, see. If, but Sorry. the select board is saying that this is something that the taxpayer should decide on, not the select board should be deciding on. So shall the town? So yes, it was worded right the last time. Right. Whatever. Here's the other thing: is that do we have to? Form a historic preservation commission, or can we do that after at a meeting if this gets approved? Uh, yeah, possibly. Right. Okay. So the motion was made um, to have an article created to say, uh, shall the voters appropriate $8,500 to the schoolhouse committee in order to establish a reserve fund for matching grant awards and application procurement? That was the motion. No, oh, second. By Kimberly. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nay. Jen. Nay. Nay. I'd like to see him use the $1,000 first, and then once they get those, if we need to use the extra $8,500 move forward, I think that would be more appropriate. Uh, um, any other things for the for the warning? I guess there was two yes and three no. Uh, at this point, is there anything else for the warning? Not that I can think so. Okay, perfect. Um, I think that you good. I'd like to make um, a motion at this point to oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah. There's more for the warning. Sorry, we have the the rail trail uh, thing. And uh, do we want to uh, appoint a treasurer? Do we want to ask the town to allow the select board to appoint the treasurer? Or have it be voted on? That's a big one. That's yeah. That's another big one. Yeah. So if, and keep in mind, if we appoint a treasurer and someone runs for the select board who's suitable for that position, we can appoint it to that person. But if someone doesn't, we are the, the only place we can look for a treasurer if we don't appoint one it's is 10, in this million. town. Yeah, if we appoint one, it could be from outside of the town. If it's an elected position, they have to be a taxpayer. It's only for this town. And this is, I sent an article to everyone about uh, VLCT just came out with a thing in one of their latest uh, mailers about um, going from elected to appointed officials. It's part of the conversation we had. Regarding the TA, I mean, it's just, it's this giant modernization of the town of Wilkett. Now we have plow trucks and wing plows and people can get to meetings at six o'clock on a Wednesday night. It wasn't like that 150 years ago. Um, so is there any discussion about an appointed treasurer? Does anybody have any that, objections? Or? Does that preclude anybody from running for the combination of town clerk and treasurer? It would. It would. They would not be running for a treasurer. The select board <coughs> would uh, appoint a treasurer. Now they could appoint the elected official. They, they yeah. could appoint the person who ran for a town clerk, or if they don't have confidence, because it's a pretty, you know, it's an important position for the town. Um, they, we could, uh, you know, the select board could review interview, uh, review resumes, and make sure that the skill set was appropriate. And that person would have insurance. Uh, no. Right now we've budgeted no, 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 for. No, 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 no. They have uh, insurance. Liability insurance. There you go. Oh, Absolutely. liability insurance. Yeah, yeah. 
would they have to supply their own though or would they be covered under the town because that's a whole different ball of wax too i do not know just question have they'd be a town employee so they might be covered by the town sorry Rob. Have you look into this to see if you can legally do this yeah you well can. Yes, you it can. would have to be an article that be voted on in the taxpayers in order to shift that yeah. it's not a policy we can just red line and vote on it's something that the taxpayers it, is it's considered reorganization yeah, but it goes along with state law. There's no state pool to govern that or anything. No. No. Just want to make sure. Yep, absolutely. No, it makes sense. It's um, the, 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 the line of the article basically was it's getting harder and harder for rural towns like us to find these professionals within our tax base in order to serve the positions well without having to go and budget an extra $10,000 for auditors or whatever, you know, extra cost and i mean if there's a professional that's right here in morrisville we can do it it'd be nice to be able to hire them, right or appoint them but after a process of course you know it's tough because it's another article it's another thing that could possibly scare those who are comfortable with the way the town is built now it's um puts a lot on in the select board well, it gives the they select board put flexibility. It, yeah, put put the article in and see what the town taxpayers say. That's the democratic way. I mean, it's it's one of those things where if the taxpayers have confidence in their select board who are voted in as officials, then they should have confidence in those people who they approve to do the jobs. That, and if it if it only just opens up the talent that would be available to the town municipality, that would just be a benefit too. We wouldn't have to sell ourselves short just because someone's a resident. Kim, do you have any thoughts? No, not really. I'm not really sure what I think about it, to be honest. It's sort of a ninth inning conversation at this point. I wonder if we have to go forward with the model as it is, and if then we don't have luck filling that position, can consider reorganization of it. Um, an another way to say it is we may be stuck with what we get if we don't take the opportunity now. Which could cost ultimately. Mm -hmm. There's we, no difference if it's a, if if we get if we appoint then if somebody stands up and says I, I am gonna I want to be town clerk and then they come and they say to the select board um, I'd really like to be treasurer well great that's awesome why don't you interview and if there's anybody else then we interview them too and everybody gets a fair shape there's no difference we actually have an ability to hire the best person. So I'll, t I'll take a stab. I make a motion to add to the warning the appointment of the town treasurer. I'll second. All right, so there's a motion made by Mike. It was seconded by Jen. All those in favor say aye. 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 I don't know. If you don't know, then don't. Is I'm, just not, I'm not going to say anything. Can right. I do that? Yeah, you can yeah. abstain. You could abstain. I can, can I? Because yes, I don't have enough can. information to make it. No, you, you, can, you can't. No. Linda, no, Linda, no. Linda said no at one point, you but can you can. You can abstain. I remember. I did totally abstain. You, 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 you have yeah, a right to abstain. No, I just don't know. I don't know what I think about it. I don't know what I think about. There's still a majority. You still, you can Because you're technically taking it out of. For Mr. Oh, no, Robert. That. Wait, Mr. Robert. So you're leaving it. You're letting the town decide. The town's deciding. Okay. Yep. No. Yes, I do. We're agree. just putting this on the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's an option yeah. for the I town got you. Uh, Robert, this so says that um, a municipality's voters must approve a duly warned article and authorize its legislative body to appoint a municipal clerk or treasurer at an annual municipal meeting by statute. See, yeah, I've read all this stuff before. Just what sticks. And, and so we don't have to worry about to you How recusing yourself that? or you not voting right to abstain to right. Yeah. is by one's own yeah. choice is right. used by a voter when so she's you're adding an article to the warning yeah. for, the town for the town to vote on. to vote to let the select board appoint a treasurer instead of them vote on it themselves instead of it becomes ultimately a, elected instead of instead, instead, instead of the elected. treasurer being an elected right, right. if and no one you're giving that power 
as opposed to the town. But only if the town if the agrees. agrees. If the town yes. agrees, right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm fine with letting the town's people do what they want to do. Yeah. That's what it is. It's just yeah. giving them a chance. Yeah. And, and who knows? All this stuff might scare a bunch of people. We'll see. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. It's our best effort for what we've been trying to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No. So the rail trail and the rail trail the approval no statement, approval. which I think we already made. A we already made a motion to do it. We just have to make a motion to put it on the warning for the rail trail. So I'll make a motion to go ahead and put the uh, appropriate language for the rail trail um, as an article uh, in the warning. I'll second. Yes. Yeah. By Michael. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, great. Okay, perfect. Um, I think you're going to need to look at how you, how you put that article about appointing the town treasurer in here in the articles. VLCT has correspondence that I could definitely look into. Right, but like this year we put it, the first article the moderator, second article was town clerk. Third article was other officers starting with town treasurer. So yeah. you're going to have to put that article before that. Before that, if it fails, we're going to have to move to vote for a treasurer. Exactly. Yeah, you may have to show both. And in a sense, say, after you find out who the town clerk is. Yeah. Because that, quite frankly, is going to determine in a lot of people's minds how they vote. <clears throat> Possible for uh, authorizing you to do the treasurer. Uh, That's a very good point. You what I'm saying? Yep. Yep, absolutely. So put that together so that it flows, so that it doesn't look like you're ramming something down. Understood. Yeah. Yeah, and it creates it creates the government as we're trying to. Yeah. You, 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 could, you, could, you could handle that when you, you moderate open the meeting up. You could say, we're going to go to article. We're going to bypass these other ones and go to article to see if you want to elect the town treasurer or if you want this board to do it. I, I think Bill had a really good point um, regarding how the town clerk will play out into the town treasurer decision, and I think that's just I think the whoever, only way you should put whoever it. Whoever gets elected to town clerk, I'm just talking to you, Mike. Whoever gets elected to town clerk is going to determine. I think how a lot of people are going to feel in terms of whether they want to elect the town treasurer or they want you to appoint a exactly. town treasurer. Yep. Exactly. So you go, I understand what Bob's saying, but you go moderator, town clerk, and then the article to the, appoint. The article is an option of appointing or electing and have the moderator make sure everybody understands up front this is the reason we put it that way yep exactly yep, yep. perfect very good observations all right moving on we have town hall rental agreements um Did we finish i'm the sorry rail trail night? yeah the rail trail was oh. oh she's getting tapes deb did we make a motion to approve the rail trail officially as an article for the warning no, if it, if it wasn't done our, just right Wednesday. now, it would have done in the last three minutes. So I'd like to make a motion to add an article um, with the rail trail language to the warning. Second. By Michael. All those in favor say aye. 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 Beautiful. All right. Aye. Next moving on is a town hall rental agreement received yesterday for a 12th birthday party, February 15th, 3.30 till 9 o'clock. Raging. No alcohol. Michelle Haggett. I make oh, a motion to approve. Uh, by Kimberly, second by Eric. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Kimberly. Next is dated January 14th for Saturday, February 8th. So we're good, no conflict. 12 to 8. Wolcott Ballet, Wolcott Historical Community Event to celebrate Black History Month in Life and Ministry of Reverend George Brown with African Dinner and African Dances by Ballet Wolkin. So that must have been by Miss Patty Thompson. I'll make a motion to approve the ballet. I'll second that. By Richard, all those in favor say aye. 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 
Deb, can we just have an action item for um, whoever has access to the town hall rental agreement that we need to change the date in the first paragraph in the very last paragraph to reflect 2020. Thank you very much. Last is another one for the Methodist Church. This is Saturday, March 14th. No conflict. Maple sugar on snow. No alcohol. We will take responsibility of bringing our own trash. Removing. I make the motion to approve and waive the fees. Script. For the Wolcott Church. I'll second that. Yep, we do it usually at their... We always waive their fees. Motion made by Kimberly, second by Richard. Requesting no fee community event. All those in favor say aye. 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 Beautiful. Uh, town road condition log. Lucian, we know that this is distributed to you guys. This was emailed to us as well. Deb, or there is an addition from the 20th about West Hill needing sand just up from Jones Lane. UPS couldn't get up road, so it was probably correspondence that came through the office. Um, if the board, don't mess with you. Yeah. Uh, if um, I did, I I did follow up, call all these people, and so at some point, um, we're just gonna keep doing it. But maybe some point, someone else will do one one round for me. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't go over so well. VT Department of Taxes. Oh, was that probably? Deb, was that probably the, the yep okay so we did this in amendments um a representative appointment for the Lemoy regional solid waste we haven't had help lately richard lee is currently our appointed yeah. position the big guy uh, yeah <laughs> would you like to continue that richard i, I can suffer that thank you <laughs> you can what i can, I can yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, I can suffer that. It's all right. <laughs> no, it's really So I make nonsense. a motion to appoint Richard as our <laughs> Royal Regional Solid Waste Management Representative. Wilkins Man in Solid Waste. Oh, Second. Okay. Um, seconded by Michael. All those in favor say aye. 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 Deb, this is an action item for Linda because it's asking for the clerk to fill this out. Thank you very much. Verb. Seeking nominations. You, you know something about that? No, not really. What does verb stand for? That's what I was trying to see. They're seeking nominations. The LCC something, something board. <laughs> right. Employment Resource and Benefits Trust, Inc. Annual meeting April 30th, 2020 will include the election of an alternate director. Alternate verb board members serve a one-year term, and the term for this position will expire on December 31st, 2020. To be eligible for this position, the candidate shall be, at all times during the one-year term of office, a qualified official of the verb member municipality. A qualified official is a select board or city council member, clerk, treasurer, or, elect or elected or appointed official with responsibilities to select or administer human resources, employee health and welfare benefits, Unemployment compensation or other group insurance benefits for the member municipality. To we nominate a colleague, anybody. please submit a nomination. So if it's if somebody wants to do it, you can. You don't have to. So again, this is something that could speak to the potential of um, a, a TA because a qualified official is a select board or city council member, clerk, treasurer, elected or appointed official with responsibility to select or administer human resources, employee health or welfare benefits, unemployment compensation. Or other group insurance benefits. I think that's all sort so of. So it's just if you want to make a scope. nomination for it, it's open for nominations. <laughs> all right. So that being said, that is it on the agenda. We I'm going to make a uh, motion to. Oh, it's Lucian. I just can't remember what it was. I thought about it. Part In the meantime, there. Lucian. Okay. Uh, I think it was yesterday. I took the day off. Yesterday it didn't come in. We got to the uh, femur number to proceed with our claim, and we're meeting in uh, next Wednesday at Moortown at eight to ten. And I'm going to Morso, uh, right? Morso. What's that? Morso. Morstown. That's the. Oh, uh, not Moortown. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yep. And uh, 
You're going right I'm there. there. Yep. And I'm submitting the, our four names, Mike, myself, Dylan, and Linda will be going to this meeting. Right. And it's getting ready. Unless, and they also included a, no, uh, I got to go through now and uh, figure out all the FISA tax and everything to go with it. So they have a rate that we will put down by the hour over time. I don't know how I'm going to handle overtime because we really don't write anything down. On our you can pull all sheet. those reports off QuickBooks in about five seconds. What's that, Kim? You can pull those reports off QuickBooks and just put in the dates of what you need, and it'll yeah. give you every one of those. You might be able to ask Allison, in other words. Yeah, and if Allison needs to... Well, I, I've got the rates in. here. I mean, they're all here. Right, but if you need the hours or... Uh, I, like I'm that, assuming, and them. I don't truly know this, and I'll make the phone call, but it looks like they want me to fill out one of these for every town employee, yeah. and then one hour rate the way it looks, and then they'll just adjust the rates. If we have 10 hours that day, right. they'll pay us for the 10 hours or whatever it is. And if but, Allison needs help with the report, getting the reports, just have her call me, and I'll tell her how to get them. Okay. So, anyway, that's what the... Uh, and I'm on a list of four contact people, phone numbers, emails, and I have to include the town D U N S number, which is the Dunn's number. The Dunn's number? Yeah. That's a real thing. Yeah, it really is a thing. We have one. We have one. Don't worry. We do have one. Okay. As long as all the other towns have a Dunn's number. They don't have the three numbers up. Then who are you asking again? Okay. And the other thing, I, I called uh, Joey Wilson because a week ago or two weeks ago, you guys approved to do the study on the Brook Road, and he's going to start that next week. Um, so we should have a report in, I don't know, two or three weeks or whatever. To do. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for all your work with FEMA. Yeah. It's a lot of mundane paperwork, I'm sure. And the other thing, I, I forgot to mention, Jen put a lot of time into this budget, too. And again, thank you. Oh, yeah, you. Jen put a ton, ton of time. You're good, Jen. That's all I got. Well, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it. Deb, if we could just have Lucian on the agenda from now until we get to town meeting day, just to make sure that we're just dotting I's and crossing T's. I mean, it just, we want to make sure that we finish strong. All right, well, that being said, um, I'd like to move on to number 10, which is executive session, which uh, now takes place in the town Lister's office. So what time, what time is it? I'll make a motion to go to executive session at 817. Someone? Uh, second. Oh, second. All right, there's a bunch there. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Perfect. So the select board shall adjourn to the um, listener's office.